Hello friends, uh, welcome to Archer Traders and uh, friends today I am going to tell you a hundred percent working strategy. So friends, uh, everyone uh, looking for a uh, strategies uh, everywhere. So today we are using moving averages as our strategy. So friends, this moving averages in higher terms it will work very well. So if you consider uh, on intraday basis, it will take little time. Uh, it will give you so many errors. That means like uh, hitting stop loss like that. So if you consider like higher time frames like one day, so one hour time frames, it will give you better confirmations. So in this uh, strategy, what we are using means, so we are using three moving averages, which are seven day exponential moving average and 14 day exponential moving average and 44 day exponential are normal moving average is also simple moving average also fine. So how we are going to take trades. So first thing first, so whenever uh, a moving average is considering, so it will take seven days. So if you consider this green line, so this green line is a seven day moving average. That means if you consider here, the point of green line uh, holding means it is an average of previous seven candles closing prices, means closing prices. So that means it is having higher point compared to all the seven days. So that means the buying activity is going on as usually so whenever this seven day moving average crosses this 14 day moving average and this 44 day moving average means more bullishness in the stock so if you take an example here first thing here when uh, july 14th so this irctc crosses this short term 14 day moving average line on a daily time frame basis so this crossover given you a good entry so you can keep a recent uh, hammer as a stop loss so this hammer is your stop loss or you can keep the crossovers or recent low so maybe this candle low or this candle low you can keep as stop loss and you can enter next day i hope this is around 600 above so if you enter 600 above it won't hit your stop loss and moving and moving and moving when this uh, uh, seven day moving average crosses 44 day uh, moving average this is more bullishness and after that this uh, 14 day also crosses this 44 moving average it is a very very bullish so friends this is a trade which you entered with a successful uh, rate. So everywhere friends, stop loss is must and should. But I am expecting this is, will show you accuracy, 100% accuracy friends. And next thing is if you observe here, uh, still now also there is uh, an uncertainty in the in the price of the uh, IRCTC. Still it is not a book. Why? Because it is consolidating. So this 7 day moving average doesn't cross this 14 day moving average clearly. So present it is just crossing above and uh, we hope this as a sell call when two days the stock will close below to uh, these uh, levels so but one day is closing below one day is closing above one day is closing below one day is closing above so like this like uh, wise it is moving so that's why it's not still a sell call i hope you all understand so if the stock will close below two days after crossing this 14 day moving average by seven day moving average and that means 14 day moving average will go above so at that time you will take a sell call and whenever these both uh, crosses this 44 day moving average or even uh, this 14 day crosses this 44 then it is a sell call see here so you will get a clear picture so this is consolidation zone so this is all consolidation zone this is all consolidation zone but whenever this consolidation purely happens only one will get win winner buyer or seller so whenever this 14 day moving average comes upside and this 44 also comes upside then it is clearly a sell call after this much consolidation uh, the bears taken a grip on this stock. So this is going to be a continuous sell. So likewise here also if you see so much of uh, Consolidation is going on. So if you consider this will move higher then we can expect this will move higher only So that's how we can take a uh, buy and sell triggers So this is here it is a buy trigger and here it is a sell trigger, but friends anyhow we need to take a what you call stop loss so when you are taking this as a sell call you need this candle high as a stop loss 900 rupees so like that friends so this is how we have to consider how to enter and how to exit by moving average as strategy thank you friends